Welcome back Heroclix fans. Today I have another Heroclix team building video guys for you. This is actually a tournament team that I played locally last week and it features the Inhumans and a Parallax watch list. Eat your heart out. Anyway, so I just wanted to cover this team a little bit and talk a little bit about some potential uh, fun characters and uh, I really like Inhumans. I'm a big Black Bolt fan and Lockjaw. So, uh, I really wanted to give this team a shot, see if it was actually any good, and, uh, you know, just uh, have a fun 500-point game. Uh, so, let's get right into it, and really, the, the key is to um, use Black Bolt as your main attacker, Crystal as a, you know, support piece, and then we have... Lockjaw as a tie-up transporter, and then Medusa and Karnak are you're going to be your supporting attackers. Uh, Karnak really is going to be your main second attacker with charge, flurry, precision, strike, exploit, weakness, super senses. Uh, just a brutal character for close combat compared to the Black Bolt uh, finesse type offensive range attacker. Uh, this piece isn't necessarily more, fin this isn't actually finesse like other Black Bolts in the past, but uh, you know, a range character like that, especially with his uh, low defense, is a little bit more of uh, a finesse because you <laughs> you're trying not to get hit by that, especially with your nine range. Now Crystal, is a, another piece I really wanted to cover because if you look at this team, it's pretty simple. Uh, Lockjaw carries two characters, can carry two grounded characters or one flyer. So that's that's good, uh, obviously. Then we have Medusa and Karnak. And Medusa has a pretty cool ability where she can use plasticity, that's a trait. And in cap is her special power, sharpshooter and uh, sidestep with three range. So she's a pretty good in capper, slow the characters down, especially with Black Bolt and his running shot pulse wave. If you're able to lock people down and then have him snipe on people, it's gonna be a good game for you. Also Karnak uh, is really simple, straightforward with his charge flurry. He's just get Lockjaw, it's gonna carry him up there and then let him go to town. He's got a pretty solid defense with 18 super senses with uh, Indom. So he's can he can go to town close combat while your other characters pick him off or tie him down. So it, it works out pretty good. Um, obviously, maybe not so obvious, but I think pretty obvious. Parallax is on Black Bolt. It's one of the one of the best entity combos I have ever seen. Um, almost everything stacks up. P Parallax is a 12 attack. Black Bolt's 11. Black Bolt starts with a three damage. Parallax is a four. Uh, the only thing that's not the greatest is the defense is both 17, but you could borrow Impervious. Um, but once you get off the top click, which you will get off the top click with Black Bolt because he does not have Indom, you're gonna wanna push him. The stats line up perfectly. Almost every single time, Parallax has a higher defense and a considerably better damage reducer. Um, Cause he got, Black Bolt has invulnerability and vulnerability and then three clicks of toughness. Parallax alternates between impervious and invincible. So push him all day. Crystal on the, on the line here is a, such a good support piece, especially within humans. Um, she is expensive at a hundred points, but what she does is I was, I was so happy that I played this figure. Okay, before we go too much further, gravity feed, gravity feed, gravity feed, and gravity feed lockjaw. Uh, this is the rare black bolt from the set, and obviously this is the chase parallax from War of Light. So we got that. This this crystal is really, really good. So we have barrier and smoke cloud. When she does, she can target through characters. Uh, and that's a trait. That is incredible. She has willpower as well, so she can do this constantly. Her special, I'm not gonna go too, too much, but her special on movement is sidestep. When Crystal uses barrier and smoke cloud, she can place two additional markers. So she could place eight squares of smoke cloud. 
but let's talk about the smoke cloud special on attack fire she has tk what she's just amazing this is just good stuff here she can use smoke cloud at the beginning of your turn deal one penetrating damage to opposing characters that were occupying squares with one of these terrains or adjacent to three or more of these terrain markers so she's got willpower she's going to be able to drop the smoke cloud the next turn if an opposing character is in it or next to three of them pen damage ignores your characters it is phenomenal you pair it up with so many things here. You got sidestep TK, you have barrier, smoke cloud, smoke cloud that deals penetrating damage. Uh, just just so, so good. Late dial, um, you got toughness and you have enhancement uh, and they do a little different bonuses to your, uh, your smoke cloud and barrier. But anyways, love that piece. Medusa, on the other hand, if you keep her close to any of your characters, she has plasticity, so new sets with flash, you can't you can't hypersonic on her because she has plasticity and you have to stop next to her once you get there. So uh, you could protect characters like Black Bolt by putting her in front, uh, protecting or making it harder for them to hypersonic on you. Just ways to go about that. Um, but yeah, I, I think this. I'll just say I went. I did go three and zero with this P, this team. Um, I usually carried lock, Lockjaw carried these two characters up first turn about, you know, to get some kind of map position in. Then Black Bolt came to the side of them, uh, 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 close to Lockjaw to possibly get a token off there with leadership. And then a lot of the times I would just sidestep with Crystal first turn to get, get a little bit closer and then get a nut in the beginning of my second turn, do another side step to get almost that next to him. If not, I could just move her all the way up, you know, one of those turns. But I would often TK Black Bolt to do Pulse Wave and then push, or if I don't need to push, have Lockjaw carry Medusa and Karnak to tie up the rest of the team or to tie up the character that I just Pulse Wave so that Black Bolt's not left out there uh, to get beat up on so yeah you would just kind of TK out back bolt into nothingness and go do a massive pulse wave and then have lockjaw tie everyone up after you know so that you know if you did lockjaw first then you would pulse wave your whole team you don't want to do that pulse wave first then lock them down and then next turn either he can uh, push clear or uh, you know whatever snipe or whatever you got and uh, pa pairing him up with Parallax, it just, the, the power combinations are just, they really work very well. He's 150, so he'd be 175 with Parallax, but I think he's, he's definitely worth the bonus. And you also have the power where you can give him Power Cosmic. Um, so if you didn't want to push, uh, you could do that as well. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the basis of this team. Uh, and that's pretty much every how every match went. They weren't necessarily easy because this team really is a somewhat of a finesse team with some big bang on the side with well main attacker Black Bolt. But I mean, it's it's not as you know it's not as easy as just TKing out and pulse leaving their whole team because that would only do one damage. Uh, so you have to you know have to work at it, but. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun team, and also built-in Black Bolt has um, that inhumanity perplex that he can perplex uh, character, uh, well, in, inhuman keyword characters or himself. So he always has a perplex on there. He's got good range, good movement, solid attack that stays st steady, and actually pretty decent damage. It never goes below a three, um, and then, you know, Entity, it's just good. It's a pretty solid team. Uh, you know, it's not going to win uh, worlds or anything like that. Obviously, it's over. It's like 500 points, but it's a fun team, and I was really impressed with the Inhumans. Uh, Crystal just was so much fun. I was really impressed with Black Bolt. Uh, Karnak is amazing for 100 points. That that figure is disgusting. Medusa, I like. I liked what she did. She's kind of expensive, though. She is kind of... I, I don't know if I like her for 100 points, but she's not bad. Lockjaw, love that piece. Love that piece. Anyway, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, 
uh, video about the Inhumans. Uh, hopefully, if you have played this, you had similar experience. Let me know if uh, you like any of these characters, if you've played a team that's similar to this. Um, I like it. I, I like it a lot. One thing I want to cover today, I do have Marvel Dice Master grab bags up on the store. So definitely check that out if you're into Marvel Dice Masters. Uh, there's some really, really good uh, dice and cards in the grab bags. So I definitely recommend that. They're only $10 and you get 20 cards. There's super rares, there's rares, there are LEs in there. Yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed for the price. It averages 50 cents per item and you have a good, I mean, you're gonna get uh, either two super rares, two uh, or one super rare with a super rare or two rares or a rare with an LE. So there's a good, you know, there's a good mix there. Uh, six uncommons and 12 commons. And that's just pretty much it. I, I think it's one of the better grab bags I've done. It's first ever Dice Master grab bag. 